Hey, welcome back, everybody. So I saw this article this morning, and it's just the one of the worst examples of gaslighting that I it, we've been just subjected to so much of it over the course of the last few years, and it's only ramped up as we've gotten closer to the election. But then this, uh, and, and from the Department of Homeland Security, no less. And uh, I'm going to get to that. Uh, as usual, ABC News is being deceptive. They're deceptive about everything, and this is no different. But uh, I just want to quickly go through this article and just show some examples of how utterly insane the claims made in this article are. So let's just get into this article real quick. And it gets worse. I mean, it's not just the gaslighting, but there's uh, censorship involved in this too, which I'll get to uh, here in just a little bit. But to start this article out, the Department of Homeland Security has found that Russia is spreading disinformation regarding former Vice President Joe Biden's mental health, according to a DHS bulletin obtained by ABC News. So, disinformation regarding former Vice President Joe Biden's mental health. Disinformation? What are they talking about? Because, you know, we've all seen these videos. I mean, Joe Biden on live TV spurs out and, and starts rambling incoherently to the point where you you have to ask the question, is this guy okay? Can it, Should he even be running for president? So, this it's starting off deceptive right off the bat because I don't need Russia to tell me that Biden's got problems. All I have to do is watch any video of Joe Biden speaking. Are we to believe that live videos of Joe Biden saying and rambling incoherently was somehow edited on the fly by Russian hackers or something? I, I don't understand what they're trying to say here. I mean, I get what they're trying to do, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's just continue reading. So ABC News previously reported that DHS withheld publication of an intelligence bulletin warning law enforcement agencies of a Russian scheme to promote, quote, allegations about the poor mental health of Joe Biden. Uh, so that throws me off, too. Uh, why is the DHS alerting law enforcement agencies about Russian schemes to promote allegations about the poor mental health? Like, What's the point of uh, of alerting law enforcement agencies? Are they going to arrest people who suggest that Joe Biden is unfit? Are they going to like go into news uh, rooms and and arrest the people who suggest that Joe Biden is unfit mentally? Are they going to are they going to like actively censor anybody who plays video of Joe Biden's own words? Just raw video of Joe Biden making no sense, talking about his leg hairs and corn pop. That that are we supposed to believe that that was all the Russians? I'm Jill Biden's husband. I work for Cedric Richmond. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other guy. Give me a look, though, okay? We choose truth over facts. You're a lying dog faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. That's my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, let's go. Oh, you switched on me. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. Why, 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 why? Um, You know, there's a, uh, during World War II, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a, than the, the, it's called, he called it the, you know, the World War II, he had the war, the, the war production board. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn, uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down but I'm looking forward to this man you walk behind me in a debate come here man my name's Joe Biden I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids we choose science over fiction we choose truth over facts think about it we hold these truths to be self-evident all men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. I believe this every fiber of my being. We're posed. I what I propose is is it can be done. I think we're in a position to, to really make it happen. And my team and your team are already working closely together in light to light up the path forward here. Critical laws like the PRO Act to strengthen collective bargaining. On politics like prevailing and pro look. I guess I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm t taking too much time, but. Watching. Prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. By the way, this is my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh no, this is, no, you switched on me. This is my wife, this is my sister. 
matters because if we lose them, mm -hmm. we are in real, real trouble. We should be we should be making those masks. We should be moving on those ventilators. We can do that. Why doesn't mm -hmm. he just act like a president? That's a stupid way to say you it. You know, I Donald guess, Trump was really asked on... He... Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I probably best I don't. So continuing on here, uh, the draft bulletin titled Russia likely to denigrate health of U.S. candidates to influence 2020 election. Wait a second. What was that? Let me reread that. The bulletin from the DHS is actually about the candidates. Candidates, plural. more than, Meaning more than one. What was the headline? Russia spreading disinformation about Biden's mental health. Hmm. Well, the title of this bulletin makes me think that it's not just about Biden. So more deception from ABC News. And if I had to just take a wild guess, I remember hearing that China and Iran were also trying to interfere in the election on behalf of Democrats because they don't like Trump, especially China. Why would they like, uh, why would China like Trump? Trump has done everything to change the deals, make better deals for the U.S., which China doesn't want. They want better deals for China. And apparently the Democrats and the media want that as well. But let's continue. So this uh, was uh, submitted to the agency's Legislative and Public Affairs Office for review on July 7th. The analysis was not meant for public consumption, but it was set to be distributed federal, state, and local law enforcement partners two days later. So again, I'm confused why this is going to law enforcement. I, I would love somebody to explain that to me. Again, what are they going to arrest people who are saying things that, about Joe Biden that they don't like or about Democrats? Are you guys seeing this pattern? Uh, this really is starting to remind me of when uh, the media started claiming that Trump was retweeting doctored videos of Nancy Pelosi when he wasn't. So Trump tweets out this video of Nancy Pelosi rambling, not making any sense, just really looking like she's having a series of strokes, right? Long took no longer on the floor, the custody, custody of the border, of the border. Everyone, he started making, sending signals, the U.S., Mexico, Canada, if that's not the accurate character, some people call it after NAFTA, some call it NAFTA 2.0, working together to, to uh, make pass that not uh, if we where where the fat there's three things there's three things there's three things there's three things so he tweets that out and it was actually a compilation put together by fox news okay then they put out they find this other video that was where the audio was like slightly slowed down i mean it's so easy to do in premiere anybody can do it i can do it i do it all the time in my videos for a comedic effect and they put out this video and then purposely confused it with the one trump sent out so, because they wanted people thinking that any video they saw of Nancy Pelosi not making any sense was due to doctoring. And I've, I've done many videos about this, so I'm not going to go through, but I've done compilations of me just freaking out over doctored video. Obviously, that was their intention, to dilute any sort of negative impact on Nancy Pelosi uh, from her own words, right? So that seems to be what's happening here. It's like they can't get around the fact that Joe Biden goes out and just rant, just makes no damn sense. So what it, the Russians did it. It was the Russians. Everything's the Russians now. They lose the election. It's the Russians. Uh, Hillary Clinton goes out and looks like she's having mental breakdowns. Oh, that's the Russians. I mean, this is getting insane. Let's continue. But apparently this uh, memo was held back. It wasn't going to be released. And then the media raised a bunch of hell and it was released. Russian actors are spreading, quote, unsubstantiated allegations that former Biden is of ill health. That former Biden, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That's just bad writing. The DHS bulletin says and speculates that, quote, this narrative will resonate with some American voters and reduce their confidence in him as a candidate. Okay, so first off, unsubstantiated allegations. Again, folks, we have all these videos and it's like, it doesn't even, it's not even from recently. I mean, they go back decades. It's, it, it, it's weird because it just gets worse. It's like Biden might have had a problem way back uh, that, you know, back in the day, it was just, oh, it's, it's old Joe, old Uncle Joe and his gaffes. You know, he says something racist. Oh, it's just old Uncle Joe and his gaffes. You know, because the media is there as a PR, you know, basically a PR agency for the Democrat Party and whoever they run. But we, th th these videos exist. And, I, I, I'm just like, I am blown away by this. It's really, as you can see, I, I don't even know what to say to it because 
The videos are there. There's tons of them. They've been widely reported. But they want you to think that somehow this is done by the Russians. And I also like that they say, oh, it'll resonate with some... So I'm confused here because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but for the last four years, has the media not uh, uh, accused Trump of having mental health problems and that he should be removed uh, using the 25th Amendment? I mean, that was like uh, the bread and butter of CNN for like a year. They kept uh, bringing on these so-called professionals to claim that Trump uh, had mental problems and needed to be removed, even though no actual professional would ever diagnose somebody by watching them on TV. But isn't that exactly what the media has done for the last few years? They just, they've just they said that Trump is mentally unfit for office, and they're doing that because they believe that narrative will resonate with some American voters and reduce their confidence in him as a candidate. Again, it's like this, they're accusing their opposition of doing what they're actively engaged in. We see this over and over again. Before the election, oh, if Trump questions the election results, it's an attack on democracy. What have they done for the last four years? Then they're doing that again. They're saying, oh, if you know, Trump loses the election, he's going to... They're already setting up for themselves to question election results. They're already putting that out there. Russia is using both covert proxy websites, covert proxy websites, and overt state media to amplify these allegations, often in conjunction with other election-related uh, malign influence narratives, which is consistent with their tactics in 2016 to undermine a former presidential candidate. Right. Hillary. All those videos we saw of her falling over herself, people having to catch her and carry her into vehicles and, you know, falling off uh, uh, stairs and coughing up weird balls into water and just, like, wigging out all the time and uh, looking like she was literally having a mental breakdown. All that. It was the Russians. It gets worse. Even though we have all these videos, which they are now apparently denying exist, or if they do exist, that it's the Russians that did it. So besides that, they're also censoring anybody who suggests there's videos out there of Biden acting like he's mentally unfit. No, I'm not kidding. ABC News. I posted on here a couple comments just in regards to the fact that this is, you know, widely known. There's all these videos out there. And look what happened when I posted. They got removed. ABC News removed the posts. Seriously, it's not like I said anything crazy either. I just posted sarcastically, don't believe your lying eyes and ears. Sure, there's hundreds of videos going back years of Joe Biden making no sense and rambling incoherently, but that's all the Russians. And I just kind of made that comment sarcastically. They removed it. And look at some of these responses. LOL, your post is exactly what the DHS report is referring to. Thanks for making their point. What? Like, and then and I did put this one in all caps because I'm just like, it's like they're not getting it. And I said, we have hundreds of videos of Joe Biden acting mentally challenged. Okay, we don't need the Russians. We have these videos. And all of them are edited to mislead, mislead people into thinking it. What? Are you... Oh, my God. Like, it, it's a good thing that I am... Uh, I am a mentally fit person because if I wasn't, this would seriously be damaging my brain. I mean, this uh, this is gaslighting on a whole new level. So let's continue with this article. Russian covert, uh, covert and covert influence actors posted negative commentary and unsubstantiated allegations about the poor mental health of Biden. For example, proxy websites have claimed that candidates' gas are symptoms. So here, let me. I'm going to read this part out. Clearly, for example, proxy websites have claimed that the candidate's gaffes are symptoms of dementia, that he is mentally unfit for the presidency, and that he is likely unlikely to serve his full term due to his age. First off, they're claiming that his gaffes are not symptoms of dementia, and they do not mean he's mentally unfit for the president, and that he is uh, not unlikely to serve his full term. Like, what? That sounds like they're taking a position. Uh, you talk about unsubstantiated. They're just claiming that what he says is a gaffe. I mean, it's debatable. At the very least, it's debatable, right? But they're just, it's a gaffe. End of discussion, it's a gaffe. And you cannot question, yes, he's 78 years old. And yes, uh, it's very possible that he won't be able to serve out his full term. But you cannot ask that question. That is the Russians. You can't ask it. Sure, it looks like he has dementia, but you may not ask it. We have determined that it is not signs of dementia. The article continues, and this is where you can kind of see where they're going with this. President Donald Trump's campaign has also maintained an effort to depict Biden, who turned 78 shortly after Election Day, as mentally unfit for office. Okay, so what? I mean, hasn't Biden done that for Trump? Hasn't the Biden media done that to Trump? Yes, they have. But it's different when they do it, right? According to the DHS acting secretary, Chad Wolf, uh, they had held back the original bulletin because there were, he says, quality control reasons. that It wasn't actually very well written. Uh, and he said this, 
The report that you referenced was, at the end of the day, a very poorly written report. I had questions about it when I talked to career officials and INA and the office that produced the report. They also had questions about it. They're hard at work rewriting that report, putting it into better context. I hope we see that record out soon. So the article goes on to say that that updated bulletin also refers to China and Iran. Look, this is the end of the article where they mention this. Literally the last paragraph, the last two sentences is where they mention this. That the updated bulletin also refers to China and Iran raising questions about Trump's mental health. But these efforts probably, probably fall short of Russia's. What? Probably? Is this... This is an intelligence agency. Well, they probably, they probably don't race to the uh, more substantiated, coordinated, malign influence operations across multiple overt and covert platforms that undermine other U.S. politicians, it reads. So, uh, in the bulletin, it says that also China and Iran are raising questions about... So, if China and Iran are raising questions about Trump's mental health and the Democrat Party media has also been doing that for the last four years, what does that mean? Does that mean our media are tools of China and Iran? I mean, based on their own standards, yeah, that's what that means. And uh, it's very telling that they buried this at the very end of the article. Because they know most people that read this are just going to read the headline, Russia spreading disinformation about Biden's mental Oh, okay. So that in, that, in their heads, that on, uh, you know, automatically means Trump, uh, bad orange man. And any video that these people see of Biden, they're just going to turn it off or they're just, you know, they're not going to believe it. It's like, it's like brainwashing right here. It's real brainwashing. You saw it in those comments that these people literally believe these videos aren't real, that they were manufactured uh, by Russians. I, folks, this is uh, completely crazy, and it, it's right in line with what the media has been doing for the last four years. Literally, it, 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 over and over again, everything they accuse Trump of or their political opposition of is what they are actively engaged in. And we see it once again with this example. That's all I have for you today, folks. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by using one of the platforms that are listed in the description or the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.